I uh, hope everyone enjoyed lunch and didn't eat so much that you are comatose. Uh, Todd Worth is, let's see, one of, uh, how, how many, what, how many, what's the manpower on Red Potion and Blue Potion? 20. 20? There yeah. you go. Uh, Red Potion is the iOS side. Blue Potion we're going to hear about as well on the Android side. Uh, this is a powerhouse of gems, uh, of kind of a, a, an opinionated framework to help you build apps quickly, efficiently, and Todd's going to tell us all about it. Thank you. you guys, can you guys hear me? And gals. Anyways, I'll start off some, some recent quotations from people on the intertubes about Red Potion. This one's from our good friend Kevin Portman. <laughs> so an actual, is an actual quote on Twitter today. So my name is Todd. Uh, I am the founder of Infinite Red. I created RMQ. Uh, I edit the Ruby Motion Dispatch newsletter. And uh, I'm a core contributor on Red Potion, as well as Blue Potion on Android. So what is Red Potion? Red Potion, our goal of Red Potion is to make it the Ruby, or the, the Ruby on Rails for Ruby Motion. Uh, when I build RMQ, it specifically has no magic, has no pollution. Um, it's basically very unopinionated. You can use it with any gem, and it works just fine. Um, and that's great, but the problem is a lot of new people especially, they want Ruby on Rails. They want to come in, and they won't have to learn how core data works, and they, they want an active record. Um, they want you know, a network library that works, and you don't have to figure out all this stuff. And there's actually a huge amount of knowledge that goes in just getting the most basic app working. We know because we hear these questions all the time. So uh, originally, I'll just tell you a little quick story. Uh, Ken and I came up with the concept, Ken Miller, wherever he is. Who knows? Um, oh, there he is. Ken, Ken and I came up with the concept of Red Potion. And then I contacted Jamin, who works at ClearSight. And he's the maker of ProMotion, uh, which is one of the most popular Ruby Motion gems out there, except for maybe Bubble Wrap. Um, and we decided to get together and finally, at least between our two companies, which is about 20 people, um, decide to just, just decide on the popper gems that people are using, rip out the parts we don't like, and uh, add some pieces that are missing and integrate it real well. Uh, and so our team, we all did uh, RMQ, of course. Some of us did uh, ProMotion. And your team all did ProMotion, of course. And some of them did RMQ. So even internally, we, we, I didn't use ProMotion. But Jamin and uh, Rickard and Gant convinced me to use ProMotion. So anyways, um, so it's evolved from real world, world use, meaning you guys already decided that you like the gem. And so we included it. We didn't just say, oh, we want this gem, and we'll just make it. It's like we picked from the popular gems. And there, you know, there, there was various, various good options for a lot of stuff, but we just had to pick one. Uh, it was done organically. These are all the gems currently in ProMotion, or sorry, Red Potion. The two big ones are ProMotion and RMQ. Uh, we have Core Data Query, CDQ for data, uh, obviously. Um, AF Motion, which I think everyone uses. That's all installed by default. Uh, nuclear, which is awesome for, if you guys don't use that, Rake Nuclear, uh, resets your simulator does a clean all and recompiles it all in one command. We use that all the time. Uh, packing peanut, this is done by Gantt. This does uh, application persistence, which isn't bubble wrap, but this does it for both iOS and Android, which is why we did that. Um, Red alert is uh, an alert plugin for RMQ. So that brings up something very important. If you use Red Potion, you can use RMQ plugins, and you can use ProMotion add-ons which is a large amount. There's tons. ProMotion is everything to do with screens. RMQ is everything to do with views. And so they merge pretty well. I actually specifically didn't put any kind of screen code into RMQ because there was ProMotion. Like, why redo it? And there's other stuff like motion print, of course. OK, here's an example. This is a pod. We use this for remote images. So when you install Red Potion, this is automatically set up. So Red Potion, I'll show you in a, sl a later slide. But basically, you can say remote image equals URL, and it uses that pod and does everything automatically, which we would set up in every project anyways. And then some other stuff. OK, uh, 
Red Potion integrates gems. This is a lot of code here, but um, do I have a laser? I thought I had a laser. No laser, sorry. Um, pew, 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 pew. OK, so this is a lot of code, but this actually integrates a bunch of stuff. If I go next here, it will show. So as you guys can see, this is a table screen from ProMotion. So you get things like refreshable tasks, uh, on load. Uh, this is from RMQ. This, all this stuff, this is selecting this, or creating a UI button. It's using RMQ styles, RMQ's events, right? Um, we have CDQ in here, app data, wrap CDQ. So we have an app concept. We also have app net, which is AF motion, uh, and then motion print. So that's all. <clears throat> Most of the stuff worked out of the box because it just did. Um, but we, ha we did modify it somewhat to make it work better together. And Jamin actually is speaking next, and he's going to go into a lot of examples. Um, and then we, then we actually create new features combining the gems. And this is pretty cool, because before we couldn't do this, because we didn't know if you had both ProMotion and RMQ, or if you had AF Motion, or if you had CDQ. So you couldn't make a gem that expected all those, because the likelihood that everyone to have one would be pretty small. Because everyone I've asked, everyone I've talked to, I've asked what gems they use, and it's, it's always all of, the, all of the place. This is one. This is great. This uses ProMotion and CDQ. If you're, if you're familiar with a ProMotion table screen, this is a ProMotion data table screen, which uses from CDQ. That's the kind of combination we can do now. Because we, um, we're guaranteed that you have CDQ and ProMotion. So that's an example there. If you want to scream out with excitement, anyone? <laughs> Feel free. Remote image. That's all you do. And that uses uh, that SW image, whatever. And that does a whole caching. It caches a memory when appropriate. It caches out to disk when appropriate. It's very performant. Um, so instead of doing what we do, well, a lot of people that do is they call us up and have us set up all this stuff for them. So you don't have to do that now. So we're out of a job. Anyone's hiring? <laughs> 20 people. Um, yeah, S SD web image. OK, so this actually is not in Red Potion yet. <laughs> But it will be soon. It's on my computer. So unless that doesn't die. Uh, we, we use AF Motion, but we even wrap that in something slightly simpler, mainly because we wanted to bring it over to Android as well. And so we have app.net. And then in this case, it's the most simple. But it has all the AF Motion stuff. You build a shared. You do gets. You do post. You do what it calls. Um, it's just slightly simplified. For example, the one simplification is we always set up a shared client, and then we do gets. Uh, in AF Motion, you always have to say client.share.get, whatever. This will automatically, well, this, if you have no shared setup, will do it one off. If you have shared setup, it will do it automatically. It's just one, one little wrapper on that. OK, um, this is an interesting, this is a very small detail, but it's very powerful. So, because we had, this is an example where we removed stuff from RMQ and we added stuff to make it more promotion like. Promotion has an onload which maps to view onload on their screen, okay? Or view did load. Um, when you're teaching someone new, and I know we have some new people here, what view did load was, especially comes from web, it makes no sense. Controllers have view did load, and that's like the initialization. Views do not have view did load. It makes absolutely no sense. So Jamin renamed it to screen, which makes more sense to people than a controller, because it's not a controller. Um, and then he made an on load, which is just on load. But there was nothing in, nothing in views. Now, RMQ handles views, and it had a, a method called RMQ build, where you should build your view. So <clears throat> we changed RMQ build to on load. So now you have an on load in both. So someone who's learning this will never know of the weirdness of where in the view you do your initialization code. Um, so that's all that is right there. Um, Oh, another thing, how many people use RMQ in here? Could you guys just lie? <laughs> I'm only human. Thank you. Um, so normally this would be rmq.append. In Red Potion, we remove all the RMQs. We add some semantic stuff, and we just do append. Uh, in, in RMQ, we don't touch, and ProMotion too, we don't pollute stuff by philosophy. Red Potion, we pollute the hell out of things. We pollute things just for fun. <laughs> I overrided end. This actually works in Ruby, by the way. You can 
declare a, ver a method called int. I've done it, stupidly. <laughs> yeah, isn't that nice? Well, I was copying jQuery, and one of their methods is end, and I was just happily copying it. And it worked until I realized I defined end. <laughs> no, it's just if you, if you can find end, and then you can call it as a method. So it has a dot end will work. End by itself will then be an end. So it completely works, but it's like, you know, if anyone saw that, I would, hopefully they would shoot me in the head. <laughs> and then they would revive me so they could shoot me in the head again. That's what I would do. Anyway, so you can see right here, this is actually RMQ. We're appending a UI label, and then RMQ is there right there. Um, and then we have promotion. And that's where it gets really powerful. It's very subtle things, but it's always kind of like, oh, here's another example. Notice how we use the promotion style to set a style sheet? In RMQ, you have to set the style sheet. You say rmq.stylesheet equals blah, blah, blah. And then you have to apply your root view style every single time. But now that we can pollute, we just do that, and it does that for you. So it's very promotion-like in that way. Uh, yes, this is the important part. So in iOS, frankly, you guys can use, you can use many of the wonderful gems. Um, he showed one today. There's uh, Motion Kit. Uh, the old one is Teacup, which I don't think anyone uses. There's, there's lots of options, and you, you would probably be just fine using those options. Um, in Android, there is nothing. Well. If there was nothing, that would be something, and Android has absolutely nothing. So Android, there's less than nothing. So because of that, we started building Blue Potion. Um, Gant and Darren have suffered, <laughs> suffered for months doing uh, Ruby Motion Android, and it is really suffering. Um, so we started working on Blue Potion. I actually switched over. I didn't want to do Android at all. I'm a, I'm an Apple fanboy, I like iOS. But I switched over to help out and we started building Blue Potion. And it's actually kind of cool in some ways. But we finally got to a working where we're using this in a client app. And it, it, three lines of Blue Potion is like pages of Android code. It's way more improvement than iOS is. Because iOS is simple and kind of concise, Android is not. Uh, so that's Blue Potion. Darren will actually talk about Blue Potion, uh, I think, in two talks. So that is Darren. That is a, an actual photo I took this morning. Um, <laughs> Okay, who's building it? We kind of already talked about that. <coughs> These are the people who are building this. So, you know, we have Jamin, and the reason I put this up here, other than it's just fun to point out everyone and get illustrations, the reason I point this out is we're trying to say that, like, a lot of the community who was using X is now using Red Potion. So one of the problems is like asking you to use something is, well, there's a thousand things to use. Why would I want to use this? You know. So Jamin, I'll let you talk about that. But Jamin created Promotion. He's on board. I created RMQ. We got Gantt, who's created a bunch of stuff. Mark Ricker has literally contributed to every Ruby gem known to man. <laughs> it's in the Guinness Book of World Records, <laughs> at least my copy. Uh, David Larrabee is right there. He's actually not on our team, but he was the number one contributor Red Potion, and you're still pretty darn close to number one. This dude's awesome. We just mention a feature, and then he's, on the, he's three hours ahead of us. We wake up in the morning, it's done. We, we literally call it David-oriented programming. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, we have Derek and me. And Ken. Oh, Ken's the serious guy right there. And Derek's the left-handed guitar player. Um, OK, why is Red Potion important? This is where I get to irritate people. Um, Ruby was interesting. I remember. I, I was interested. It was pretty cool. And darn it, I was going to stop using Java, or I might have been doing C Sharp at the time. I don't know. Um, and learn it, right? And I actually did. I'm like one of the few people who learned Ruby not through Rails. But for most people, they learn Ruby because of Rails, right? Um, we need to have that in, in Ruby motion. We need people to come in because of Rails. Um, we do need to standardize. And the reason we need to standardize is, uh, at least for common projects, now games are different. A lot of things are different. But I'm talking you know, your Slack apps, your email apps, your Facebook for, your Ubers for, which is kind of what we all get, right? It's a thing. These kind of common API-driven, maybe a local data store apps. Uh, if we could standardize that, that would be awesome. Um, the problem is we're not a very big community, right? 
Um, and we are very fragmented. Like, no two people here are working with the same gems. That's kind of crazy. Um, so I personally swallowed my pride and got rid of some of our MQ stuff and accepted the Borg. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, cross-platform. Cross-platform without sacrifice. Now this is important, without sacrifice. That's what Ruby Motion gives you because it's native. It's not other things. Cross-platform without sacrificing the user experience is very important, okay? So cross-platform. PhoneGap, we don't, everyone, everyone know PhoneGap? Some people? PhoneGap declares itself as write once, run everywhere. <laughs> like crap. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I gotta write that and make fun of phone game. <laughs> okay. Red potion slash blue potion is learn once, write everywhere. You may not reuse your, any of your code, although we actually do reuse some of our code, um, but the concepts are the same and the learning is the same. You just have to do it twice. And the reason you do it twice is because you want the Android to have Android stuff and you want iOS to have iOS stuff. So when people pick it up, pick up their app in whatever, they're like, oh, iOS app, oh, Android app. And that's why you learn once, and then you write both places. Now, for things like, we just did a client project. We've been doing a lot of iOS slash Android, two projects. Um, we just did one, and we share the entire models and the entire API code that talks to the server. Now, Android has a few bugs, so we had to modify it slightly, but um, it totally works. <coughs> we literally just exactly the same models. Uh, so that's awesome. So you get the best of, just like I said, native environments using common skills. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, here's some cool things. Now, Jamin's going to go over a bunch of detailed stuff. I just want to show you some cool stuff. <coughs> uh, if you're familiar with RMQ, this one is familiar, or actually, ProMotion has it as well. Uh, potion, Crate, Foo, CD, Foo, Rake. Now, you notice I didn't bundle and I didn't do a pod install because it does it for you. Uh, the one I like even better is Rake Nuclear, which will then reset your your simulator, do a clean all, and rebuild everything. It's like, we call it the nuclear option, and so Gantt created nuclear. <laughs> and if you look, if you look at the options, there's, there's nuke, nuclear, and then my favorite name of any parameter in one of these is called noob. And I have no idea what it does, I just like to say noob. <laughs> B. Okay. Creating a table screen, this is where ProMotion shines. So you do potion create table screen my table. It pre produces this. This combines RMQ, table screen, and promotion. Uh, this is actually an RMQ thing, reapply styles. This is a promotion thing. It tells us when it's rotated. RMQ actually keeps track. RMQ is cool in this way. RMQ keeps track of the orientation you will be going to, not what you are right now. And that's important so that you can animate before it happens. Uh, anyways, and then there's table days. Uh, uh, an array of hashes, which is a promotion feature, and Jamin's going to show that it's really cool. It's an easy way to make tables. Um, we have a concept of this table if you have, like, say, 100, 200 rows or less, and then we have what's called a metal table, which would be your infinite table. Uh, and that's more down to the metal, um, but still wrapped a little bit. But for basic stuff, a lot of times you just want to, you can make sections and stuff, like, really trivially. Most people will go to promotion, I think, start off because of table. Um, Here's another example. This is getting the weather in San Francisco. So Open Weather has this little uh, API. Then we use app.net.getjson. We pass in the query. Because it's a get, it changes the URL instead of doing a post. Uh, it's a re response to success. Now, excuse this long ass thing, which is just converting it to Fahrenheit. For you, for you uh, modern people, that's a measure of temperature like Celsius, but stupid. <laughs> Water boils at 212 degrees. Why? Maybe the king had 212 children. Who knows? <laughs> Anyways, so then we use RMQ here to find the weather label. This is find is an alias for RMQ. We use this for semantics. Instead of saying RMQ weather label, we say find. Um, and then data, of course, is an RMQ thing, and we point to that. So that's a really cool little piece of, uh, like, literally, you start, you start up a promo, uh, red potion uh, app. You put this in there somewhere, and that's going to work. And um, and you lose nothing. It's using all the gems, pods that we use. It's just wrapping them. It's not like you can't use AF Motion. You can't use these things. They're all there. They're just set up. Now, you may be saying, I don't use AF Motion, Todd, because I write applications that only run in my pocket and no one else. 
And I don't use a database because saving data or state is for lamos. <laughs> I don't know why I'm staring at you when I'm saying this, but uh, <laughs> I'm just imagining this what you're saying. <laughs> so if you don't want <coughs> if you don't want CDQ and you don't want to pollute or you don't want to add extra stuff to your project, you do potion remove CDQ removes it all from your app. You do potion remove AF motion. <laughs> so yes, sir. Oh, without flag. Thanks to what kind of programming? David-oriented programming. <laughs> it's a true story. OK, live reloading. As seen in Watson's demo earlier. I'm like, wow, that looks familiar. Where'd you get that, Watson? <laughs> Could have given a shout out. That's OK. This is live reloading. Um, originally, we did this because okay, this is a funny story. I'm going to tell the story because it's a good story. Jamin slacks me one morning and says, dude, I think I just figured it out. Gantt just saw it and he showed me it and he did basically two lines of code that did basic live reloading. And then you and I worked on it for like four hours and we had this done. Uh, it, is, it's a, it was abil the ability to do this was the trick that Jamin figured out and uh, RMQ's easy ability to reapply styles. So uh, I'll go ahead and play this. So this, the command is actually different now. This is an old recording. But uh, this, this only works currently in RMQ style sheets. But Jamin's working on it to make screens also automatically update. Um, this is huge. Literally takes off 20% of all of our screen development just because of this. Like when I moved to Android, I, 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 I shed tears because <laughs> we don't have this. I mean, I don't shed real tears because I'm not human. But um, <laughs> you know, I've seen on TV people shed tears. Okay, it's pretty cool, huh? You're welcome, Watson. <laughs> Thank you very much. You can find more information. I think I'm really early here, so we can talk about stuff. You can find more, more information at redpotion.org and, well, Darren will talk about this, bluepotion.org. Um, and uh, that's it. <laughs> Any questions? David? Nothing? Okay. Yes, sir. Is it free? Yes, it's absolutely free. Yes. Yeah, it's open source. It's an MIT license, which I call do whatever the hell you want with it license. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, you can. Uh, if you use the promotion or the red potion template, there's too many Ruby potions, uh, it sets up a lot of stuff for you, but you can add it to your app, yes. Uh, we don't have a lot of. I don't. Do we have instructions on how to do that? I think you added some. Yeah, I mean, but you'll get a lot of it just by adding it. Um, well, I didn't show, and I meant to make a slide for this. Um, but we're creating new doc. RMQ has pretty good documentation, as if you use it, you know. Um, but we're creating a new, like, basically documentation for Red Potion. That's um, um, what do you call it? Recipe based. So cookbook. So I want to do I want to do a remote image. How do you do a remote image? And we're just adding it. And it's all in uh, Markdown in the repo. And the problem with RMQ's documentation is that no one can access it. But in Red Potion, anyone can contribute and do a PR to documentation. And we hope to get some great docs. Cool. You have something, Amir? I love that. I love that. You just call on someone randomly. They feel compelled to give you a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Any real questions? Yes, sir. Yes. So basic app.net is simply a alias to CDQ. Just because CDQ is not semantic, like if you were to read it, you know what the hell it was. Like what the hell is CDQ? I don't know. Um, so it's just yeah, it's all there for sure. We wouldn't, we wouldn't, I wouldn't work anything that I can't get to the metal for sure. Yeah, it's true. Anyone else? General questions? How my childhood was? <laughs> um, yes, sir, the big guy in the front. So, um, Isn't it true, Todd? Yeah, no, it true? <laughs> <laughs> that I sold everything from Sugar Cube, yes. Where are you? Yes, <laughs> I did. <laughs> Uh, 
I love this question. He's got a big smirk on his face. Uh, yeah, so Colin was talking about adding uh, uh, constraints. So we don't use constraints in RMQ, mainly because of me. Um, but a lot of people love constraints. They love the constraints of motion kit, and it's pretty cool. My problem with constraints is they're really kind of hard, even the really nice wrapped, and so ours is simpler. But if you like constraints, and I think it would be fairly straightforward to bring in motion kits constraint into RMQ style sheets so you get the same cool constraints. I see no reason why that couldn't be done fairly easily. Yeah, yeah which is totally cool. I mean, like for instance, I put layouts and styles in my style sheet. Basically, my personal rules, if it's visual, the user sees it, it goes in the style sheet, including text or whatever. Um, Jamin likes to have a layout uh, file and a style file, and so does Colin, for example. Uh, a lot of people like that, and that's great. We support all that. It's not so rigid. It doesn't enforce that kind of stuff. Um, we basically say, these are the best practices, and if you use our templates, you're going to get our best practices, but then we don't handcuff you for doing that. Did I answer your question, Jamin? Yes, yeah, it was helpful. <laughs> 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 no, that's good. Uh, cool. Okay. Yes, Mr. Rickard. What should someone do if, if they want a feature in Red Potion, but it's not there yet? Talk to David. <laughs> <laughs> No, but seriously, we, we, we have lots of contributors. Um, I'm very proud of how many contributors we have on our RMQ. Um, and please feel free. We respond to PRs really fast compared to some where, A, they don't respond to your, your pull request, and then when they do, they argue with you why it sucks. Uh, we may say this is how you need to improve it or whatever, but we respond fast and we don't argue with you because we're yeah. over the age of 10. Yeah, I try to merge them ASAP, and Mark does, and Gant, and Jamin. So uh, we really want, I mean, I mean, we're kind of doing this, but we, <laughs> we have lots of clients who are constantly starting new projects. So for us, this really matters. Um, but we don't want to be the only ones doing this stuff. We want everyone. And we don't want to be the opinions. Like, I purposely like say things like, oh, what should you use? Well, in my opinion, I use this. But I want, this, I want, I want the choice that's good and will be most acceptable to the largest number of people. That's what matters to me. And if that's RMQ, then I'll play. Otherwise, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only human, sort of. And um, you can convince us to add something or, or change something, like get, get some support and figure out tell, tell us why it's good and submit a pull request for an issue, and we'll, that, we'll always consider it. Right? Oh, yeah, we change a lot. Yeah. I mean, some people think I'm kind of a hard ass, but I'm not. I don't know why Ken's shaking his head. Hard ass, yeah. <laughs> I told ten, Ken not to talk and take pictures. And look at him. He's not talking. Good job, Ken. You got one. <laughs> I'm kidding. Ken's my co-founder, so he's technically my boss. So, Anyways, anything else? Nope. That's your job. But I think we're taking a break. Yeah. It'll take a Thank few you. minutes for a round of applause.